I have some new information that may interest Pokemon Go players on Melmetal. If you're not familiar, Meltan evolves into Melmetal. These two Pokemon are mythical Pokemon that are tied to the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee partnership with Pokemon Go. By interacting with the two games, you're able to get Meltans, and then you get enough Meltans, you can evolve to Melmetal. Bring you up to speed on that. Well, it's a Steel-type Pokemon. It's a Mythic Pokemon. And ever since it was announced, people have been asking me, Hey, Ryan Swag, how does it compare to Metagross as an attacker? And I've always had to you know, push them off and be like, guys, we do not have stats on Melmetal. We, we don't know how good it is. How am I supposed to let you know if it's better than Metagross if we don't know anything about it? Other than the fact that it's big, ugly, and is a steel type. Well, we have that information now. This uh, data miner, hacker, I don't know what the official term is, uh, this wonderful human being, Kurt, uh, Twitter, at Cafotix, link in the description to them, uh, hacked the heck out of the Pokemon Let's Go game and found a whole bunch of interesting information. Uh, information that's important or interesting to us Pokemon Go players is the stats on Melmetal. And now that we know what Melmetal's base stats are in the main series games, we can translate them into Pokemon Go because all the stats in Pokemon Go are just converted from the main series games. Putting Melmetal stats through the stat formula, it comes out to having an attack of 248, a defense of 209, and a stamina of 286. This gives Melmetal a max CP of 4265. And if you're familiar with how Pokemon Go does things, if your max CP is above 4,000, the Niantic just slaps a 9% tax onto all of your stats because this goes against John Hankey's will or something. So its converted stats with the 9% tax comes out to an attack stat of 226, a defense stat of 190, and a stamina of 260, giving it a nice kosher less than 4,000 CP of 3,573. So how does that compare to Metagross? Well, it's got less attack than Metagross. Actually, significantly less attack. It also has significantly less defense than Metagross, but it does have a lot more stamina. If you're not familiar with uh, charge moves and energy gain in Pokemon Go, you might be tempted to say that Metagross just outright outclasses it in every single way immediately. However, if you have lower defense in Pokemon Go, that means you get more energy from taking damage, right? Because you're taking more damage because you got a lower defense stat. And because it's got such a high stamina, it's able to tank those hits fairly well despite its lack of defense. And because of that, Melmetal will, in theory, be able to get off more charge moves or at the very least get more energy than Metagross would. This means it could bridge the gap between its low attack stat and Metagross through using extra charge moves. This relationship is also seen with Machamp and Hariyama where while Mahariyama has way less attack than Machamp, because it has way lower defense and much higher HP, it's able to bridge the gap by using extra dynamic punches. Now, all this information is great and all, uh, but there's one piece of the puzzle still missing in the Meltan equation, and that is we don't know its move pool. But there are two things that we do know about Meltan that can give us something to work with. Uh, one of which you probably already know, and one that may be some new information to you. Yeah. So the one thing that we already know is that Melmetal is going to get a signature move called Double Iron Bash. It's going to be a steel type move, and I'm assuming in Pokemon Go terms, if it gets it in Pokemon Go, I think it'd be crazy if it didn't get Double Iron Bash in Pokemon Go, that'd be pretty insane. Um, but it's going to be a steel type charge move, I'm assuming. Very likely going to be a charge move, not a fast move. And Therefore, since it's a signature charge move, it has the potential to be OP. That's right, we're getting two OP Steel-type charge moves in Pokemon Go. Depending on how powerful Double Iron Bash is, that could also further allow it to bridge the gap between it and Metagross. Now, the one thing that you might not know about Melmetal uh, comes from the data mine. Yeah, it was also found in the files that Melmetal has the ability Iron Fist. In the main series games, Iron Fist allows the Pokemon to get increased damage from punching type moves. Uh, two such moves that are punching type are Bullet Punch, a steel type fast move, and Meteor Mash, a steel type charge move that currently exists in Pokemon Go. Now, while Meteor Mash is Metagross's signature move, other Pokemon can also learn Meteor Mash. Of them are the steel type Lucario and the psychic type Deoxys. Um, there's also Clefable, and uh, I might be missing a couple others. 
So this gives Melmetal two avenues to kind of get on Metagross's level. Either the signature move, Double Iron Bash, will exist in Pokemon Go and be an OP charge move. If that's not the case, then okay, that line's cut off. Or, option number two, Melmetal might get Meteor Mash, which is reasonable because it's a Steel-type Pokemon, and it's a move that would get boosted by the Iron Fist, so it's in the realm of possibility, right? Well, I decided to start out by running a Sim on Melmetal, seeing what it would look like with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash in a Regirock raid. You guys might remember this graph. It's from my Meteor Mash Metagross content. If you haven't seen it, you want to get learned up, link in the description. And yeah, so it's a Regirock raid using all of Regirock's movesets averaged together, uh, using the stat rebalance that's only in the game right now for Gen 4 Pokemon, for whatever reason, they implemented it for a couple hours, took it back, well, at the time, we thought we were going to get it again sooner than later. Still haven't gotten it back yet. Whatever. Uh, but this graph is using the new stats. This is uh, level 40 counters. So all the Trozés here are at level 40. And yeah, they're up against Regirock, Average, No Dodging, and Ultra Friendship because I didn't want to make a brand new graph for Best Friendship. So up here in the upper right corner, being a complete boss, we have Meteor Mash Metagross, the indisputed Steel-type champion of Pokemon Go. And just below it, we have the runner-up, Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, Melmetal. As I said, despite it having a very low attack stat, for reference, Dialga here has, uh, like, I think 276, so way higher than Melmetal's attack stat, but because of its lower defense and its much higher stamina, it's able to bridge this gap between it and higher attack stat Pokemon because it gets that extra energy gain from the damage. So pretty impressive on Melmetal there. It is understandably a tad behind Metagross here, uh, but for a secondary option that's arguably a little bit more obtainable than Meteor Mash Metagross is because it's community day. So if you don't got it, then you don't got it. And now you got a Pokemon that you might be able to get, right? Uh, it's pretty respectable. Uh, better than the legendary Dialga in this specific raid. But this is with Meteor Mash. What about double iron bash if you remember from the metagross content link in the description if you don't remember because you didn't see it <laughs> um meteor mash is the second most powerful charge move in all of pokemon go second most powerful it is a clone of frenzy plant which is you know tied for a second with meteor mash now right because it's a cloned move well there is a move that is more powerful than meteor mash you know number one and that is hydro cannon Hydro Cannon doesn't get a whole lot of flair because right now only Blastoise has it and Blastoise is pretty bad. But if Pokemon Go were to make Double Iron Bash a Hydro Cannon clone, well, what might that look like? Uh, well, it might look like this. If Double Iron Bash ends up being a Hydro Cannon clone where they use Hydro Cannon stats but make it a Steel type attack and they put it on Melmetal, it would make Melmetal match the performance and arguably surpass ever so slightly like uh without the trozes on like the dots are like right next to each other they're like right there melmetal would be on the level of meteor mash metagross now of course this is contingent on double iron bash paralleling the most powerful charge move in the game so realm of possibility it doesn't break any of the rules of pokemon go that we currently have uh, maybe shooting a little bit too high though. We'll have to see what ends up actually happening I don't know when we're actually gonna get stats on double iron bash And I don't know when we're gonna find out Melmetal's true moveset for sure Probably this weekend when Pokemon Let's Go comes out, right? Uh, but yeah, I decided to jump the gun a little bit run some fantasy simulations ahead of time and get a working idea of what we can expect of course, once we get the true facts on Melmetal's moveset, I will update you guys and let you know what's going on. So that's all I gotta say on Melmetal. Yeah, interesting, now that we know what its stats are. Overall, at a base, it doesn't look that powerful. I mean, a 226 attack stat is good, but it's not great, right? Not as powerful as Metagross's attack stat. However, that ultra-low defense, combined with the ultra-high stamina, does give Melmetal some extra kind of edge there with the energy gains, which, as I just showed you, could put it near Metagross's level. If Melmetal's signature move, Double Iron Bash, ends up being as powerful as Hydro Cannon, or possibly even more powerful 
than the most powerful charge move that we currently have in the game, then Melmetal could be on the level of or even surpass Metagross as a steel type attacker. Overall, I still think Metagross is pretty secured right now, so if you dumped a whole bunch of Stardust into a Meteor Mash Metagross, I don't think your investment has gone to waste at all. It's very unlikely that Melmetal will like outright surpass Metagross. It's kind of unlikely. But if you haven't powered up a Metagross yet, or you're kind of holding out, you got that big question mark going, uh, maybe hold out another week. Of course, if you want to know the real facts when the time comes, well, make sure to subscribe to Swag Tips, and I will update you uh, when, I, when I can. Yeah. And if you got any questions on this content that you want answered, well, comment below, let me know what's up, and I'll be happy to help you out. So